What's up, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two Eyes Cinema. I am your host, Sharim, and here on Two Eyes Cinema, you know I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. And today's episode, I will be doing a run through and review of Rick and Morty, season four, episode five. Rattle star, Rick Lactica. <laughs> now let's get into it. On that note, don't forget to check out our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow Too High Cinema and KLB Supply on Twitter and Instagram at Too High Cinema at Too High Club and KLB Supply. Now let's get back into it. In order to keep Jerry from hurting himself while putting up Christmas lights, Rick makes him lighter than air and makes Jerry's shoes heavier than air to act as an anchor. However, Jerry later loses one of his shoes, which causes him to float away and get lost. While traveling through space, Rick's spaceship gets a flat tire, which requires Rick to stop to repair it. Morty disobeys Rick's order to stay in the spaceship and is bitten by a space snake. As Rick analyzes the snake for an antidote, he and Morty learn that it is in fact an astronaut from a planet of intelligent snakes that are on the brink of a world war. Feeling guilty, Morty secretly replaces the dead snake astronaut with a regular snake and drops it off at the snake planet. The alien snakes soon realize Morty's snake is not native to their planet. Later, time-traveling robot snakes arrive at Morty's house to try to protect and kill him. With help from a future version of himself, Rick travels back in time and leaves the secrets of time travel to the snakes earlier in their timeline, which eventually results in them abusing time travel enough to attract the attention of the time police, who destroy their civilization by eliminating their first intelligent ancestor. Jerry manages to make his way back home, but ends up injuring himself, like Rick predicted. Rick and Morty then meet their future selves, who remind them they need to help their past selves, <laughs> solve the snake problem, and close the time loop. But I like, yo, how do you get a flat tire in space? From a metal piece in space? Like, <laughs> it's a space thing, Morty. It's everything in space. <laughs> People who are really dying don't keep bringing it up. <laughs> really, Rick? Yo, I want an EP of snake jazz. Morty started a whole snake net because he just couldn't stay in the car. <laughs> and will there ever be an episode where they explain the game downbeat? But damn right, Summer, nobody chokes you without your consent. You right about that. <laughs> but the cherry on top was the Christmas card of Rick punching Morty in the eye. Perfect. <laughs> so now grading. Comedy. Definitely gonna even dang. Drama. Dang. Action. Dang. Horror. Dang. Thank you again, cinema lovers, for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and place the notifications bell on all if you want to see more content from us. Comment below to suggest any content. Follow us at KLB Supply, at Too High Cinema, and at Too High Club on all social media platforms for updates. And for now, smoke you later.